once upon a time in hyperbaric oxygen, let's say for the last 40 or 50 years, up until probably the last four or five years, the concept of hyperbaric oxygen has been how much oxygen can we actually get into this person? And if that were all that we care about, and I'll tell you right now that that's not all that we care about, but if it were all that we cared about, what we would do is we would multiply atmospheric pressure times the percentage of oxygen times the number of minutes and the duration and frequency of the session. And with that calculation, we could effectively create a dose of oxygen that this person received. Now, there are certain benefits of hyperbaric that do include the specific dose of hyperbaric oxygen. Goals like increased mitochondrial efficiency or increased immune function, or even in some cases, reduced inflammation. These few things are absolutely affected by the total dosage of oxygen, as well as a few others. And lastly, maximizing the oxidative component of the therapy, which in some cases, maximizing the oxidation is one of the benefits. So if we're talking about mitochondrial function, immune function, inflammatory results, and oxidation, the total amount of oxygen that we get into somebody's body is a very meaningful conversation. And so in those cases, the total dose of oxygen is important. And so more frequent sessions, longer sessions are absolutely a part of that equation.